The following is applicable to the common three phase asynchronous induction motor design. The stator is the stationary part of the electric motor that surrounds the rotor. It contains many stacks of steel laminations with slots for holding the electrical windings to which the alternating electrical current is applied. Electrical connections to the windings are brought out to a terminal or conduit box. This is where the connection is made to an electrical power source. When current passes through the windings, it produces a rotating magnetic field that induces the rotation of the rotor. The stator's role is crucial as it provides the foundation for the motor's operation. The rotor is the rotating part within the electric motor. It consists of another set of ferrous laminations mounted on a shaft. The laminations have slots to hold the electric conductor bars, rotor bars. The rotor bars act as a closed conductor, short-circuited at each end by end rings. This type of rotor is often referred to as the squirrel cage. The stator's rotating magnetic field induces an electromotive force EMF, on the squirrel cage rotor bars. The EMF then produces current in the rotor bars, thus giving a current-carrying loop situated within the rotating magnetic field. An electromagnetic force will finally be produced on the current carrying rotor bars and the rotor will start to rotate. The speed of rotation and the torque generated by the motor depend on the frequency of the electrical supply, the number of poles designed into the motor, and the current and voltage. By adjusting these design parameters, the motor can match the specific requirements of the pumping system. Electric motors will operate at a nearly constant speed unless a variable frequency drive is used to adjust the frequency and voltage applied to the motor.